Hello everyone, this is Dr. Paz and I hope everyone is enjoying their last few days of spring break. I wanted to provide this video for you to kind of give you an update of where we are and give you a preface to our class on Saturday, March 23rd. First and foremost, I am in our D2L course and if you click in our content area under our tentative syllabus and presentation schedule, you'll note I've added a Google Doc that details the remaining classes that we have and the readings. So as you'll see here on March 23rd, we're gonna cover the managerial accounting overview and I have the required um, readings for that and then some optional readings. And you'll note here that you can add your name to be among the discussants. That would be fabulous. You can just click in here and it's on a first come first serve basis. And those of you that want to be the discussant or the lead presenters for these articles, that would be smashing. You can just add your name here. So that's the only thing that's been finalized thus far. The other bit is that I do have our motivation and compensation, budgeting, transfer pricing, corporate governance, and corporate social responsibility, along with data analytics as the remaining topics, but none of these articles have yet been finalized. So I, you'll notice I only have presenters here for our March 23rd. I hope to get that completed in the next couple of days, and then I'll just add these same cells to the rest of the time frames and the rest of the week so those of you that still have this left to do or want to redo it are more than willing to sign up so that's the first order of business and then if we go back into our content area and you'll note I've kind of added everything more towards the end so you might have to kind of go through all of these but resources we talked about earlier but now here I have several um, current journal articles and so these are 2018 and 2019 articles that relate to, to some form of accounting and or they might relate to either some of your concept papers as I remember or just some um, areas that might be interdisciplinary that you might find useful. So I, I do have the PDF attached and I attached this little bit here as well and if you click on it you'll see that it takes you directly into excuse me it takes you directly into the article and then here if you click on export citations and if you just click on EndNote, you can download the citation data directly into EndNote. So I had EndNote open and I created an EndNote library for our class and you'll see I have 29 articles as I've been researching and doing things. I pretty much put everything in EndNote. And then you'll see your imported references right here, which is the Hwang article, which is right here. So basically, hopefully that shows you how easy it is to use EndNote. So you just create a new library and then you can just export citations. And then if you just go back, you'll see, and I know these are early on and so they may not be available in our library yet, but then I have included them for us in our D2L course. So you'll see all of that here as well. So definitely take a look at that. And then lastly, you'll see I have the articles for managerial accounting, and I also included the Google Doc link here as well for you, for your ease, and also to get five of you to hopefully sign up to be our lead discussant. In another video, I will provide you a little bit more about how to be a discussant, but it's mostly just for us to talk and discuss the articles. Now, good and bad thing is I've read all of these articles, and unfortunately, I've annotated them, so I've included my annotated copies of them so if you do want a fresh and clean unannotated version you can definitely get them from the library I got all of these articles from the library but I just I started to annotate them and it's just force of habit with me so if you do want a clean version then you can just re-download them but if you click on each one of them, you'll see, and this is what, and it might be good because that way I can show you like my thought process and certain bits that I annotated, like here, I thought it was good for you to consider any of these types of incentives and psychological biases for your concept paper. And then you'll see I underlined quite a few constructs and theories and principles that hopefully will help you and get your wheels turning about your own um, concept papers. And then, I've also circled here as you can
can see Horngren and Kaplan, those are like seminal researchers on ABC activity-based costing. Also Kaplan is also the balanced scorecard. So just kind of showing you kind of how I read these articles and what I highlight. And um, here I noted hospitals, healthcare. I know some of you are interested in that industry. So this might be helpful for you, these particular articles here um, relating to cost behavior in hospitals. So you'll see all of my annotated versions in here that, and these are the required and the optional readings and basically everything that I've highlighted. And then I added a sub-module known as surveys. And if my memory serves me well, several of you were considering creating survey instruments. So I found these articles related to survey-based management accounting and controls research. And I thought different constructs, constructs validity, response rates, and some challenges um, and issues in survey research. So I thought these would be helpful to provide to you. So for those of you that are considering doing surveys, this might help. So hopefully this will get us prepared for our class on Saturday and there'll be more videos and information to follow um, as I progress through and kind of plan out the rest of our weeks. I'm looking forward to our class. Thanks. Bye.